Natalie Painter joins us live from campus after speaking with some students there. Natalie, a tough and sad day on campus. Yeah, Erin and Janae, that's right. Faculty and students here at ISU are feeling many emotions after what happened last night. And Warren, there is really no safe space. My first initial reaction was like, like, why? And also like at a church as well, like, even though like it's not right at all, but like a church, like that was kind of crazy, ex like especially. No, students express their concerns with gun violence nationwide, but say they were shocked to hear about the shooting and tell us they no longer feel the sense of security they had before in Ames, knowing this happened so close to campus. One student says this hit him especially hard as he has various friends who attend the church. Um, I know like the Second Amendment is like a pretty big deal to a lot of people, but just seeing some sort of change, I mean, obviously it keeps happening over and over again. So just seeing some sort of initiative from the government at a state level even or even on the federal level would be really nice to see. Now, ISU's president said today that there will be counseling and assistance for students uh, who need to use those services on campus and at home this summer. Yeah, we've talked about so many people grieving and that extends to campus as well. Thanks a lot, Natalie.